YouTubers, welcome back to another Electronics and More video. I wasn't going to make a repair video on this dishwasher. A friend of mine called me up and said that their KitchenAid dishwasher all of a sudden stopped working, a total loss of power, and they also noticed a burning smell. So what I did is I checked for power at the bottom of the unit where the wires are connected. You remove the bottom plate right down here, probe the AC wires, the black and the white, make sure there's 120, 125 volts, and there was that voltage present. So the next step was to move upward into the unit. I removed all the screws around this panel and pulled it away from the other panel right here. And when I separated the panel, like you see right here, I found the problem. And let me show you exactly what it is so you know how to repair it or which part to replace in the event this happens to you with your kitchen aid unit. Okay, right over here in this gray plastic box there's some circuit boards and that's where all the connections are made. Power from the bottom of the unit comes all the way up inside this door into this box and then from this box you have these wires plugged in with the harnesses right here. There's another one over here. This one also plugs in so I just disconnected those and when I did that and I pulled it away to take a look I saw exactly what the problem was. Okay, right over here is the control box. Two connectors from the panel, which you push all the settings, plugged into this control box right here. You simply squeeze them to remove them. Now let me show you on the very bottom here what the problem was and what that burning odor was coming from. Right over here, you can see these wires look okay. These wires look okay, and over here, they do not look too pretty at all. Power is disconnected, of course, before you touch any of this. So what I'm going to have to do is cut these wires away, clean everything up, and see exactly how I'm going to be able to reconnect wires back onto this board. Let me pop this open, take a closer look at the inside. Opening the unit is fairly simple. Just pull on these tabs. All right, that popped open, and over here, there's one at the bottom, right there, got to pry that, lift up a little bit, that's off, there's one here, good, okay, all right, so the board looks pretty good, let me turn this around a better way, but right here, you see your problem, this got extremely hot from a very poor connection, a high resistance connection caused this to heat up. Everything got burned. Let me see if I can get these two wires reconnected on here. Hopefully I can. If not, I'm going to have to desolder a bunch of things to replace this. But unfortunately, the average person is not going to be able to do this. So if you find this like this, and it's not a simple repair like I'm going to try right now, then you're going to have to replace this control box for your unit. So let me see if I can fix this. Come right back and show you. All right, and you can see the neutral right here. The white one is the one that's burned off. The black one next to it is coming from the bottom of the unit. So there's a blade connector inside this plastic right here. Hopefully it's not too trash. Let me cut these wires, clean them up, and try scraping these terminals to see if I can make the repair. Okay, this is a closer look showing all the wires once I unplug them from the control box. You can see the blue ones look pretty good. The black is heated. The insulation melted a little bit. I'm sure the terminal connector, which is a female blade, that got weak and it doesn't have the tension anymore like it used to have. So I'm going to be swapping that out. I'll cut the wire. I'm going to strip it, slide some heat shrink over it, and put on a new crimp terminal like you see right here. You can pick these up at any hardware store or home improvement store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And over here, this is the neutral wire. You can see it's been totally heated. I'm going to cut that, clean it up, make sure the copper strands are nice and shiny. And I'm going to also install another terminal connector on there with heat shrink. Once that's done, the next thing I have to do, give you a better view, right inside here, these two are the ones that were heated up. Take a nail file, cut it into a strip like I show right here, and you're going to have to clean up these terminals. 
you do not want a high resistance connection. You want the connection to be as low resistance as possible to prevent this from heating again. So you take the sandpaper on that board and gently go up and down. Keep doing it, both sides, do the ends until it's nice and clean. Once it's all clean, take all the wires, plug them back in, and you should be good to go. Okay, let me just cut this off first, right there. Looking good. Let's strip this. This is around, looks to be around 16 gauge. So let me try this one right. Let's try that one. That should be good. Not too bad. Let's take the sandpaper. Make sure it's nice and shiny. Looking good. Now I only have a yellow handy, unfortunately, at my friend's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to crimp it onto this wire. You want to use a blue connector, not a yellow. Once it's crimped on here, I'm going to solder it in and then apply the heat shrink. I'm going to do that to the white and black wires. Okay, you can see right here, the black wire is now soldered and heat shrunk and the same for the white, the neutral. Now I'm going to take the nail file that I cut and go into each one of these connectors just like this. You want to get both sides. Go over it several times. Blow out any sand or grit from the abrasive paper. When that's done, I'm going to plug everything back in and we're going to give it a try. Okay, you can see everything is reinstalled. Here's the new terminals right here with the heat shrink. And let's give it a try now. And we have power now. Let's do one hour wash. And hit start. Light is on. And we're looking good. The machine is powered up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.